we are going to do three different properties this is property number two it is the raptors lodge in hoodsburg i'm just going to give you a brief tour of the property you know that's what i do so just follow me we slept here for one night and today we are checking out it's the morning of saturday um so this is a self-catering property as you can see <laughs> you have to bring your own food including your own breakfast we are having quesadillas from last night and this property is also fully furnished with a microwave um a kettle a toaster and all the cutleries that you will need for your stay and um in here it's hot you can just soak you have your pot your cups, mugs, glasses, they have champagne glasses actually which is one of the things that you don't always find at these properties and water, a fridge with some dispenser, they have a four plate stove with an oven, this is my oratane very comfortable couches, a TV with DSTV and all the channels a fireplace, a coffee table, and two, I don't know what they call those, and a fan. It also has these glass windows. If you have been following me, you already know that I love any, like a house that has more glass and less concrete. So this is a plus for me. Even the windows are huge, huge glass windows okay we are entering the main bedroom this is where i sleep okay, obviously because i'm the adult on the street and the main bedroom has two lamps on both sides it has this beautiful bathtub overlooking the outside shower and it has this lovely basin you know i always say that a property is not a safari property if it does not have an outside shower so here we have a beautiful outside shower with some body wash luxurious body wash i actually didn't get to use it today because i was using masori's products they are currently at the top of my list so i'm going to take you to the other side as you can see when we walk to the other room this is the view that i get every morning when i wake up i see the, the pool and just nature you have your dry area on the other side if you would like to do some dry on a sunday before monday when you check out or whenever you visit and you have this sitting area you can set up your breakfast or set up dinner or just have drinks while taking a swim this is the cutest room for kids you will ever see at any safari uh, property so it has two single beds and it has a bathtub and a toilet over there and this beautiful basin area and also an outside shower of its own you can just take your shower while you know letting the sun hit you or let's say it's raining and you just want to create a different ambiance take your hot shower in the rain i'd love to try that i think it would be an amazing concept and also there's a bench over there where you can sit or just put your toiletries and everything so yes that was our second property and i hope that you guys enjoy the videos that i share with you reviewing these places so let's say i was to review this place um price wise it is affordable it's around um three to six thousand for two nights for two adults and cleanliness um this particular property was not as clean as it was the last time we were here but it could get better i believe that you know this is just a, an oversight but 
I would give it a 9 out of 10. Would I give it a 9 out of 10? No. When it comes to cleanliness, I would give it a 6. Um, yeah, it uh, especially the pool area was a bit dirty. And also the other thing that I did not like was that I was trying to use the hairdryer this morning and there wasn't the pro there, there was no proper uh, plug for the hairdryer. And what else? Yeah, overall it was a great place and in terms of service, it's great. You can always call reception to get whatever you need and location wise, absolutely 10 out of 10. It's closer to the Kruger, close relatively because I would say <laughs> two hours is closer, actually an hour. Well, if you were to incorporate the other hour that you drive inside the Kruger, that's almost two hours. It's close to some restaurants. There is a spa inside the property. There is, I think, a restaurant as well or a coffee shop. I wasn't really too close to see. But we prefer restaurants outside the property because there's one that we went to yesterday. The food was amazing. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I hope you guys will visit. If you would like to visit this place, please book via my uh, travel agency, Afriglux. I'll put the details down here. Just shoot me an email or a DM, a DM on Instagram or on, 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 on the business Instagram account or on my personal account or on um, what is this Twitter. Then I will just, you know, attend to you. Just give me the dates that you would like to travel, the property that you have in mind, the location and the amount of people that will be traveling and also your budget so that we can work based on that and i don't have to prolong the conversation asking you how many people is this for i thought just send me all that information all at once so that our you know our conversation is cut short and i can help you efficiently uh today we are going to go to another property i know so many properties oh my gosh. but we're gonna go to another property and yeah i'm really excited to see this one because it's rating at um around 16,000 a night so let's see if that 16,000 is worth it bye